Welcome to the homework for Lesson 3. This is Grade 3, Module 2. Make sure you have your name on there first. <coughs> Our first one says we're plotting points on the number line for each time shown on a clock below. So here's our number line right down here. And here are the, we actually have one, two, three, four, five clocks. So there's five times we have to plot on the, on the number line. And then draw lines to match the clocks to the point. So here's an example that's already done for us. 444. These are all going to be in between 4 o'clock and 5 o'clock. So they're all going to be 4 something all of these times. So let me do the Judy clock thing and highlight the hour hands. Really in this, and I'll underline the hours for the digital clocks too. And it really, we're only looking at the minute hands for these. There is a third hand on these clocks. Those are the seconds hand that shows the seconds. We're going to ignore that hand. So we're looking at this one. This is, they're all four, right? So we're looking at the minutes. And the thing about minutes is you start at zero up here. And as you go around every big, every number on the clock face, you skip count by five minutes. So that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. It's almost 35. So that looks like 34. So it's going to be 434. So we have 30, 31, 32, 33, 34 would be right here. And we'll match it up. And this one should be pretty easy. This is 4. And one minute, right? Just digital time. Digital time is hours first to the left of the colon, and the right side of the colon is going to be the minutes. So we need zero, one is just one. So there's 401. And now we have four, and this is, if we count from here, right? That's zero. 5, 10, 3 would be 15. It looks like 1 after the 15, so we'll call it 16. This is 1 more than 15. So this is 10. This would be 15. And there's the 60. You don't have to write the 15 there, but that's where I just marked it. And you can count this 10. That would be 11, 12, 13, 14. There's 15, so 16 comes right there. There's three, there's 416 right there. And then our last one is almost five o'clock, right? So this is zero. We have five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. And it looks like we have 51, 52, 53, maybe 53. So we want 50 here. 51, oops, let me erase that, because we only want to plot 53, 51, 52, 53 would be right here, draw a line to that, and we're done with number one, number two, Julie eats dinner at 6.07 p.m., Draw hands on the clock below to show what time she eats dinner. Now be careful when you draw clock hands that the hour hand looks shorter than the minute hand. If they both look the same, we won't be able to tell which one is which. And you want to make sure that we know which one is which. So I'll draw the hour hand first. Remember, hours come first, minutes come second. So... Six oh seven is going to be this is the six right here. There's our six, and then oh seven is going to be five. Right, you can count them one at a time if you wanted, but you know the one is going to be five, and then six seven is going to be two minutes after. So there's six oh seven. 
<clears throat> now we have uh, PE, so physical education, starts at 1.32 p.m. Draw hands on the clock below to show what time PE starts. So the time is, the hour is 1 and the minutes are 32. So the hour hand is going to be the shorter one. 132 is just a little bit after 130. It's about halfway in between 1 and 2 o'clock. So our hour hand, really, if you put it right at the 1, you'd probably get full credit for it. But it should really be right in the middle between the 1 and the 2. And make sure it's the shorter one, right? You don't want to go all the way to the end of the clock, to the edge of the circle to get this one. You want to just point it about halfway like that. And now we need the 32, right? And that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And then we need two more tick marks to get to the 32. The 32 is right here. Uh, 32. So there's 132. Now we have the clock shows what time Zachary start playing with his action figures what time does he start playing with his action figures so what time does it say on the clock uh, this is his start time uh, it's in between the two and the three so it's two something let's start our sentence Zach starts at two colon sorry my two looks like a z sometimes i just can't it looks even more like a z when i trace over it so let me try it over again that's better two and what's the time the minutes the minutes are 5 10 15 20 25 30 31 32 232 And we could guess that it's 2.32 p.m. Because if it was a.m., it would be 2.30 in the morning. He'd probably be asleep then. If he's playing with action figures. But it doesn't say we have to say p.m. or a.m. on this. So we'll just leave it at 2.32. He plays with his action figures for 23 minutes. What time does he finish playing? So we need 23 more minutes. So that's going to be... Hmm. It's easier to add the 3 minutes probably here and then the 20. So we have to add from 32. We could try adding the minutes and as long as we as long as the minutes don't add up to more than 60 it will work. So let's try that. If we add the 32 plus the 23 and if you want to do this vertically this would be really easy to add vertically because you don't have to regroup anything. Five, five, 55. 55 is less than 60, so it's all within the same hour. So we can, that's manageable. We can do the 55. If it was 60 or more, then we'd be talking about going into the next hour, and it gets a little more difficult. It might be better for us to just count around the clock face if we had that. But we've got 55 minutes, so it's going to be two hours, 55 minutes, the clock to the time is going to be two. The time is going to be two fifty-five. So be careful when you use this kind of strategy. Make sure if if your total is more than sixty, then you're going into the next hour, and it gets a little more complicated. Uh, but it'll work as long as it's less than it does in this case. So we have um, Zach. finishes at 2.55. And if all you did was count, then maybe you don't have to have this number sentence here. But probably the number sentence is how it's probably, the, it's probably easier than counting. But if you did just count around the clock face, then showing your work will just mean showing some marks on the clock face that you used to count. Right? So that would be 1, 2, 3. And then you're looking for another 20 minutes and you have 10 20 oops 20 and that would get you right to the 11 which is 55 minutes 
Okay, draw hands on the clock to show what time Zachary finishes playing. So we have to draw clock hands to show 255. So it's 255 is almost 3. So it's going to be our hour hand is going to almost point at the 3 in between the 2 and the 3. And 55, I just kind of showed you where that one is. That's just before you get all the way around. So it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. There's 55 right on the 11. So there's 255. Label the first and last tick marks with 2 o'clock and 3 o'clock. So do this first. Don't try to do everything all at once. We'll just do one the first thing first and then go on to the next thing. So 2 o'clock p.m. and 3 o'clock p.m. Then plot Zachary's start and finish times. The label is start time with a B for begin and his finish time with an F for finish. All right, so what was his start time? His start time was 2.32. So we want 30, and this is, this is going to be 35, right? Halfway in between 30 and 40, because these are really like, it's 5, 10, 15. 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. You don't have to label these, but it's going to help you if you do. Because we now we need, uh, what time was that again? 2.32, right? So we need the 30, and 32 is going to be in between 30 and 35. A little bit closer to the 30, right about there. Now you could mark all of these. Right, one, two, three, four, and then the fifth one would be right on the 35, right? So that's 31, 32, and plot a point right here at 32, and label it B for begin. And his finish time was 2.55. That one's a lot easier to find right there. There's a tick mark already there. We'll put an F over that one.